Hi, my Taurus loves. Welcome back to the channel. This is your reading for the third week of December 2020. This is your love and romance focus readings. Before we get into the rest of the reading, be sure to give this video a like. Just a quick reminder, comment down below at your earliest convenience. And, you know, the deal, you'll subscribe to the channel. If that's me, you have anything you're about doing, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. All right, <clears throat> my Taurus loves. This is for your soulmate twin flame connection and it's just a reading looking at you know what's going to be going down this week in this connection um from this other person's perspective so it's kind of a little bit unique a lot of times your situation comes in there too and there's messages for you of course so um stay tuned for that too as we go through the reading but it's mainly designed to be in this person's perspective okay so let's see what's cooking up third week of December 2020. How excited are we? All right. So you guys, this person's um, underlying energy or overall energy for the month is the, I mean, for the week, sorry, is the queen of pentacles. So they're feeling very grounded within this connection and they're definitely cooperating. Um, I definitely see someone who is just with you, you know, and they see the value in you and they see the value in this and that's just what it is. And they definitely do the hard, put in the hard work. Like they definitely do the work, you know? <coughs> well, you guys, I'm so sorry. I just drank that and maybe that's why you shouldn't drink and talk, but let's get into it. So in the distant past, Taurus, we have the hermit energy. This person was going within, withdrawn from the connection possibly to reflect upon it more deeply, just we're going with going into themselves to figure things out for themselves. And in the recent past, we had the Queen of Swords energy showing up here, which talks of mental clarity and knowing what needs to be cut out and what needs to change. So this person went within in the distant past to figure out what needed to change in the connection or to get to, to some sort of emotional, personal truth about you. It could be about this connection. And I also feel like this person's energy, their sign, Virgo energy. I definitely kept hearing Virgo before I clicked the video. So that could be you dealing with a Virgo or, you know, this is just for some of you guys, right? Or you have Virgo in your chart and then, or, or there's a Virgo involved in this. And then we have the Queen of Swords energy here in the recent past. And so that tells me of the sign Libra, but Gemini Aquarius, but Libra. Um, and that is another sign. Okay. So this person went within to get some sort of clarity about how it was that they were feeling. Oh, how nice. Part of the present energy is the sun, the knight, the, the king of cups, and the magician. So presently right now, they're showing up as the knight of pentacles, consistent in this connection. I mean, their feelings haven't changed. They're definitely moving quite slowly when it comes to whatever this is. But with this, with it, with this coming up in the present energy with the knight of pentacles, that is super positive. That is a good, good good freaking sign as a sign of someone who is emotionally serious and they're working towards a, a higher goal that will, uh, will make the two of you guys both extremely happy but they're also being patient and taking their time before they act so they definitely are showing up the way they normally show up this week or if they normally don't show up consistently Taurus, this week, they're showing up very consistently, and it's because of possibly something that you said, some advice someone gave them, or some sort of truth that they've reached on to reach on by their own. <clears throat> so their conscious thoughts and their desires is the star. They're consciously thinking about you. I feel like a lot of you, Taurus, is this person um, possibly made a wish on a star for, for you. I'm here for someone like you, but basically for you. And now they're reflecting on that. They also are getting healing when it comes to the things that have been blocking them from this connection. And they're also receiving divine guidance in their own way, you know, uh, about what steps they need to take or what steps would be beneficial for them to take in regard to this connection and to better this connection, okay? So I definitely want to understand the star better because we just finished talking about that. And that's the Ace of Pentacles. So that's seeing the potential in what this is that's seeing the potential in this relationship and seeing the potential in what this could be all right <clears throat> and cooperating this person's really working together with you and they really are intending on it securing a healthy strong foundation now i also feel like this person is you know if they're not close by you they're really wanting to get close to you in the coming weeks or possibly this week you may notice that they are maybe physically a little closer maybe like before they would kind of be off doing their own thing or whatever and now you're gonna notice this week they're <laughs> they're nearby a lot more than they were in the past so we have the higher font this person's healing and learning and growing they're growing 
they're growing a lot. And with this, with the Ace of Pentacles energy, I almost don't want to get that excited. And I feel like you guys are kind of used to not getting that excited about whatever this is, right? But you need to learn to start getting excited about this because this feels really positive. A lot of wishes are coming true for this person and for you. Both of you guys are thinking about each other and thinking about how you're desiring each other, but also realizing that it's okay to wish. Like it's grounded to wish. It's you're not ungrounded if you have hopes and wishes and dreams, you know? And that's something that both of you guys got to heal. And that's what the star is helping conclude that cycle in your life. That's the cycle that it's helping. And that's possibly why this person is, they're showing up as the queen of pentacles because they're realizing that it's actually very grounded to have dreams and to have wishes where, as I think in the past, maybe they thought that that wasn't the case, right? We do have the hermit here. So, which denotes a lot of deep reflection and deep thinking. And so, um, they definitely been doing a lot of that and possibly because of something heavy. So that could have been something that went on in the past, but we're not seeing it here in the reading. So what is this hermit energy this person was doing in the distant past? And this was overcoming certain things, going within to uncover certain things about themselves so that they could have victory in this connection, but just also victory in life. They're focused on having a victory with you, but also they're focused on breaking out of something that has been very limiting for them. So a limiting paradigm, it could have been like a way of life that they found themselves in that they just never really questioned, even though they didn't like it, they never really questioned it, or they just thought they had to play into that game. Um, they're now breaking out of that. They're now breaking out of that <laughs> and they're overcoming that and they needed to go within for that, right? And because they had to confront their shadow side with the moon energy, ooh, 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 ooh. they had to confront their shadow side, right? So the recent past um, with the Queen of Swords, they came to that clarity, right? They got that truth. And the truth was about the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles, possibly how maybe some habit that they've had has been blocking the growth of the connection, how, ha how some habit that they had possibly, or some um, you know, modality that they were in was um, blocking them from getting to you, right? It's just getting clear about what was blocking their abundance or possibly continuing on on a situation or continuing to trust in the universe. Possibly this person wasn't blocking you out, right? But they possibly didn't have too much trust in the universe or trust in the way that abundance was distributed to others, right? That was a part of their old belief system. And so <clears throat> they had to get really logical about whatever this is so that they could realize that they were the only ones blocking their ability to manifest abundance. And that's the seven of swords. The seven of swords, the secret was that they were the only ones blocking themselves. And, and when it comes to this situation, I wanna know why this is coming up. This person was definitely very mentally overwhelmed with something. They could have had a hard end in a situation or they had to kind of surrender and accept at the end of a very tough, difficult cycle. And now things will get lighter and will get better. But I definitely feel like this person's energy in the recent past, it's not really something I wanna get into. I just don't wanna waste my energy. It's not a waste of energy, but it's like, I don't wanna dip into that. I've got a day I need to live and I have a life, you know? And I feel like when I dip into this energy and I, to, it triggers me too. So this person is kind of, they were dealing with a lot of stuff and it was good that they went off on their own because that would have dragged down your vibration anyways, Taurus. Right, but nevertheless, they realize where their abundance is and where who the Empress is, and it's you. Obviously, the Empress is Taurus and Libra. So we have the Knight of Pentacles energy in the present. This person working diligently and consistently, and this is around a judgment. This is heavy, guys. This is making me uncomfortable, but not in a bad way. I'm not uncomfortable with your situation, but I think that this is something really spiritual and deep that's happening for this person. But at the same time, I feel that resistance that's either from one or both of you guys on this because you both, one or you both of you guys, has struggles with believing that you're worthy of certain things and struggles with believing that certain things can come true. And so because of that, it's like spirit is bringing in something so amazing that you asked for, but it's like one or both people need to drop a certain burden or conclude a certain heavy cycle so that they can realize that the universe is bringing in what they were asking for. Like you, you and them were both asking for this, but, and now you and or them are the ones blocking it right now due to your thought processes because your thought processes are interrupting the flow of energy, right? So spirit says, don't turn that over. All right. So, um, but I just want to understand why the Knight of Pentacles is showing up here. It's possibly because this person is maybe they're, they're, I don't know if they're wanting to remain in their comfort zone. Like they are wanting to remain in this comfort zone, but at the same time, they do know that they do need to let things go. And so that now this, this awareness is here and this star energy is downloading into them the things that they need to do 
yes, they will be doing it. But just what I see them doing on a day to day is really nice because it's, it shows someone working consistently, right? It shows a diligent, consistent effort to do something, but it also is showing me um, someone who is kind of like, now my nose is like backed up and I feel like they're like congesting themselves because they're not letting something out uh, because they, they're too afraid to let it go because they're worrying, right? But they will do it. With the King of Pentacles, that's just kind of what it is. You know, it's still, this is still a very healthy energy, the knight and the king, they're still very healthy, but I just also can understand where you guys are coming from, because you guys, you know, you guys are the queen, the, the empress as well, but you guys are, yes, you guys are um, grounded, right, but you guys are also the empress, so you guys have a good balance over pretty much every other element, and so you can understand and recognize when some things need to kind of go against the status quo, and, and it kind of just needs to go and flow. And I feel like this situation, you may feel like it just needs to move, but this person is not going to move just like that. They're going to take a very grounded approach. I wonder if there's something else I'm missing. What, what am I missing? Cause I feel like spirit's like, yeah, that's not all of it. So what am I missing? The emperor. Okay. Okay. Also. Okay. So I'm feeling like this person's not going anywhere. So some of you guys may need to hear that. You may need to know that they're not going, they're not going anywhere. I'm not seeing somebody leaving. I'm seeing somebody just being consistent in whatever they're doing. So whatever they're working on, it could just be something that they start working on now. They could just be focused on work. It, for this connection, they feel the same way. The Knight of Pentacles is how they're feeling towards the connection. And this is the present energy in the connection. So things are just going. And I see here, I, Spirit keeps saying challenge, but I know it's not a challenge because this isn't a challenge position. But it's like the sun. There's so many happy things happening. Like there's a lot of emotional connectivity. There's a lot of um, trust in your emotions, but also being emotionally connected. Uh, there's a lot of happiness and happy things manifesting. There's a lot of magical energy with the magician energy and, and genesis and manifestation energy around this connection, which is really positive. But yet I just feel like something's still pulling at me, you know? Why am I still being tugged? I wish Spirit would just say, hey, da, da, da. the fool, you need to trust. Both of you guys need to trust that this is beautiful and this is going good, all right? You both need to trust that good things are happening. That's what it is, right? There's a little, there's a little bit of mistrust. And the reader picks up on that. I'm just trying not to get overwhelmed. That's why I'm like, boom, bing, bing, and I don't go too deep sometimes because I'm like, I don't want to get sucked in. I don't want to get sucked in. All right, so you guys, in your future energy of this person, when it comes to this connection, so near future energy of this person, when it comes to this connection, is the nine of cups. A wish is manifesting. Something that you guys have been hoping for is coming to fruition. Another sign, I think Aries, I did yesterday or the two days ago, they had the nine of cups in the same position here. So if you're an Aries or if you have Aries in your chart or this person is Aries, possibly watch that reading too. I'm pretty sure it's the Aries reading. I could be wrong. I'm sorry if I am. But, um, there is something manifesting as a wish fulfillment. Something is happy that you both are wanting or is manifesting in this connection. And it's manifesting it really beautifully. Uh, happiness is coming here in the near future. And what is this? It's just something really optimistic. It could be a positive message, good news, a positive turn of events. Um, but it, this situation, it's forcing the two of you guys to see the beauty in life. Like, I feel like you've both done battle, but it was other people's battle, right? It wasn't the battle that God wanted to put you through. It was like other people, other narcissists, right, who believe in living a life that's difficult and hard. You both were just really exposed to that. And now spirit is freeing you from that thought process and from that way of being. And so now it's bringing you all these wish fulfillments that you want, but you almost don't want to believe that it's coming or you don't want to believe that it's going to happen because that involves you staying extremely optimistic. And also it involves you tapping into an inner child that possibly one or both of you guys don't like tapping into. And I feel like especially this person, they don't like tapping into this page of wands energy because it can be very chaotic. The page of wands energy can be very like, this is that kid that gets yelled at a lot in, in class, you know? So a lot of us get this kid beat out of us very young where we don't take chances. We don't have faith in magic. We, we second guess ourselves. We don't have confidence. This page gets beat up in the world, beat up. 
you know, because people just don't really, society doesn't value this kid. You know, once this kid is done creating, they don't respect anything else this kid has to say. Even though this kid keeps you vibrant, it keeps you young. When you can enter the page of fire in your life and you're in a page of fire, you lose weight, you get your energy back, you get your vitality back. Bro, I tapped back into this like two, three years ago. I'm never going back. I'm never going back to the way life was before. Even though it requires you to be very brave and it requires you to really trust yourself and it requires you to just kind of just trust that like whatever they're saying, that's just by the garbage. You know what I'm saying? That's just by the garbage. And that's what you need to understand when it comes to this page ones. He don't listen to nobody. He don't listen to nobody. He doesn't, he doesn't listen to his parents. He doesn't listen to his neighbors. He doesn't listen. He doesn't care. He just does what he wants. You know, this kid's a star. And, but this kid takes chances. And he's optimistic and that's why he doesn't care and that's why i feel like this person in their childhood and in their past that was really like something they felt like they couldn't do you know or they felt like they had to envision or imagine other things for themselves things that they didn't Im imagine for themselves they felt like they needed to imagine for themselves like it just kind of feels like a lot of like abuse but also like just like negative memories and negative programming that needs to kind of be like i'm hearing beat out <laughs> but not beat up as in bah, bah. But not that kind of beat out, but the kind of beat out that needs to just have a bunch of positive things keep happening for this person to realize that no, actually, the negativity is not from spirit. It's not from God. It's not from the universe. The negativity is from those narcissistic connections that you have been in or, or from those connections that just take, take, take. They don't give. And you haven't been connecting enough to God, i.e. haven't been connecting enough to you. you just got to connect back with yourself. So there's an optimistic energy coming from this person when it comes to this connection, having faith again in this connection. Yes, right on time, just as I'm getting ready to sign off. So I want to look at these other cards and Spirit was like, don't pull these over yet. And now I know why, because the next card we have here is a high priestess energy. That energy is for me. They're communicating with me through that card. And that's, they're just telling me that that's just what it is. And the situation, whatever is manifesting here with the nine of cups, it's a wish fulfilled, right? um it's allowing the two of you guys to move on from the past especially this person because it feels like you're very airy right they can have air could have earth but they're very analytical and logical but also have an emotional side to them that's very grand a very strong emotional person um and they're moving away from things they're moving away from the drama the chaos they're just trusting in the flow of life and that this wish fulfilled it brings them that ability to just trust in the flow of life. this is good so why is this happening because of the queen of cups possibly because one or both of you guys tune into your emotions and decide to kind of do the selfish thing right the queen of cups can be labeled as a little bit of the selfish character now for my queen of cups ladies who are here i'm a queen of cups myself so don't worry don't worry about it right i'm a queen of cups too but the queen of cups really feels and you know sometimes what you're feeling it might not be in alignment with what's around you but it's still what you're feeling and it doesn't matter because you're the creator of your own reality so it really matters how you're feeling and i feel like you or this person are both getting in touch i mean i wouldn't be surprised if they did right um they're both getting in touch with their their um with their queen of with their queen of cups energy with their emotional energy you know they're both you guys are both getting in touch with how you feel you know and so you could take better actions and why is this happening again i put this on top i got scorpio with the with something weren't they or death so it feels like it's because of a scorpio it could be a scorpio person who possibly walks out with the five of pentacles possibly if this was a third party situation they could be walking away from a scorpio you see those feet walking away um to have the strength to come towards you for some of you guys but it could also be that there's a scorpio guiding them and helping them possibly through counseling something like that it may not have to be but definitely kind of supportive right but some of you guys this person's energy is showing up as the king of wands reverse so they may have a controlling side to them where they where they cause chaos it depends if this person is an ally then they're doing something good for this person that's adding to this person's life if this person is not an ally and they're someone who more so takes from the connection and takes from you and takes from them then this person will be journeying out of their life and that there will be a permanent end to that situation that they've had with that person. With death showing up here, the situation will never be the same again and it's ending, all right? So I do wanna get one more card to understand the situation better. I just need a second to like, what are they gonna get that card for? Um, I just wanna understand this a little bit more because I had a question, but I forgot my question. So the Knight of Wands reversed. It just, it, this feels like someone leaving a situation, honestly it does. Because the King of Wands reverse and the Knight of Wands reverse, it's somebody who possibly doesn't have direction or possibly is tr tr trying to take this person in a direction that's off their path, leaving, 
right? So that they can get back on their path. Three of Wands reversed. I don't know why this is all coming out reversed. What are you trying to tell me? Okay, so that, I think that's what it was. It has to do with whoever this Queen of Cups character is. We're just going to stick to that, right? So whoever this Queen of Cups character is, right? Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've got something else going on here. This is a general reading, and it's, this is going to be a long reading. I keep looking into this because this is kind of like, what the, what is this, right? Um, but I'm, I don't want to make it a long reading this week for you guys. So um, this feels like a character here that's in this situation. They're just like, you know, either they're going or they're coming in and helping or they're leaving and they're helping you because they're leaving, right? Either way, they help a wish fulfilled come in. So it doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't really matter. So, um, you know, that's what I have for you guys, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Okay, so this is your weekly reading for the third week of December 2020. Hopefully you guys could have seen those cards. Um, this angle is a little different. I know, I know right? But I just want you guys to be see the cards. So God bless you, Taurus. Thank you so much for your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Be sure to give this video a like if you haven't already. And now would be a perfect time to comment. Subscribing to the channel is, is something that's great to do. If that's what you want to do and you want to keep getting my messages, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell next door so you can always be notified about all my future uploads. I upload um, the weeklies every Friday and the monthlies, they're on like a weird Monday, right? But like you'll, you'll, I'll probably, I don't know if I'll make a video about it, but um, it's just like the Monday that's before the month starts. So the week, the Monday that's a week before. So let's say the week, the month starts on a Tuesday. The file, the week, the prior week, the Monday on the prior week, I upload all the monthlies, or at least I upload majority of them and then they come as the month goes on or they come as the weeks goes on. And that's why it's important to like, because we're playing the likes game. The more likes you get, the more I know that you're watching these videos, the more I know that you like these videos, the more I'm going to be you know, incentivized and more and motivated with, when it comes to timing to put this stuff out. Like I, I don't work alone. I work with, with a lot of spirits to get this information out here, but we also cooperate with who's around. And so if there's not a lot of energy in a particular sign, then don't be surprised if that sign doesn't come out on time or it's perpetually late or sometimes, unfortunately, sometimes things go wrong and it can't be there. So when you push the energy in there, we push the energy back. We only, we're all energy forms, right? All right, you guys, God bless my Taurus loves. Thank you so much for sticking around, watching and enjoying. And we'll talk next week, my friends. Bye-bye.